this morning. All right, so up next, we will have the Dean of the School of Business, Dr. Raghu Balumbella. And he's very excited today. It's a very important day for him. He's very excited to see this come to fruition. So I know he has a lot to tell you. So again, join me once again with putting your hands together for Dr. Raghu Balumbella. Fill the void when young people 
don't see a future for themselves. And entrepreneurship breaks down barriers between cultures and between faiths at a time when we need more than ever the capacity to understand and work across borders. No one can understand this better than our young people like those of you who are here. More than half the world's population is under the age of 30. In some countries, youth unemployment can exceed 30%, 35%. When so many people don't see a future for themselves and don't see a path to success, it holds the entire nation back. This situation leads to instability, conflict and violence. Around the world, we have seen how violent extremists are exploiting and tapping into these frustrated young people who feel that they have got no opportunity to improve their lives. If these young people don't feel that there is a positive path for themselves, then they are vulnerable. Economic development essentially means a process of upward change, whereby the real per capita income of a country increases for a period of time. Entrepreneurship has an important role to play in the development of the country. It is one of the most important inputs in economic development. The number and the competence of entrepreneurs affect the economic growth of the country. The importance of trade. If you closely examine the economy of Trinidad and Tobago, it relies on its energy sector for much of its economic activity. It has one of the highest per capita incomes in Latin America. Economic growth between 2000 to 2000 and 2007 averaged slightly over 8% per year, significantly above the regional average of 3.7% for the same period. However, the GDP has slowed down since then, contracting during 2012, 9-12, to making small gains, and in 2013, and uh, uh, contracting again in 2014-17. to 17. According to the International Monetary Fund report, in 2017, the country's foreign trade over Turnover accounted for 19.858 billion of GDP, of which 9.668 billion was earned through exports, and 10.19 billion was spent through import. Thus, import ex exceeds export by 0.522 billion and has increasing trend. This indicator, alongside with other factors, depends upon the competitiveness of local products, bringing the price and the quality of local products in line with international requirements, which is the requirement of accession to the World Trade Organization, is the core to improve competitiveness of local products and their marketing, and their marketing to global uh, markets. And this significantly depends upon both the public offices and private sector. Therefore, international trade plays a vital role in economic development since it provides employment, contributes to the transfer of technology, and is an important source of foreign exchange needed for imports of capital and intermediate goods. Investment by supplementing domestic savings and creating employment, providing success to access to technology can lead to economic development. Let me highlight some of the uh, objectives of the seminar. Firstly, to teach, coach, and inspire students of youth to be successful entrepreneurs and traders. To provide students with the tools and facilities necessary to creatively perceive new opportunities and innovations in the setup, social, corporate uh, ventures, arenas in Trinidad and Tobago and around the globe. To introduce certification courses, degree programs in the field of entrepreneurship and trade. To motivate and guide the students or youth to enable them to take up a step forward, self employment and set up a small and medium enterprises as an entrepreneur to develop and reinforce values typical in the entrepreneurial spirit, to facilitate creative and innovative process to form a business culture declared with creativity and social responsibility, and to provide policy advice to government and other stakeholders on issues related to entrepreneurship, trade, and enterprise development, to provide opportunities for interaction among the government officials, successful entrepreneurs, academic researchers, and students. And the outcomes of the seminar are increased awareness of entrepreneurship and trade as a career option for business graduates and community members. Increased understanding of required entrepreneurial spirit and mindset. Deeper linkages among the academicians and practitioners in 
entrepreneurship and trade. Great awareness of public and private sector funding for entrepreneurship and trade. Increased awareness of entrepreneurship and trade education and training. Increased awareness of contribution that entrepreneurs and traders can make to local economic and social development. A deeper awareness of local markets of Trinidad uh, and Tobago. Therefore, today in seminar, you will be provided with valuable insights on the role of entrepreneurship and trade in economic development by our government authorities, Senator the Honorable Paula Bobisun, Spoon, the Minister of Trade and Industry, Ms. Natalie Willis, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Labor and Enterprise Development, and by our presenter, Dr. Christian Stone, uh, Director and Co-Founder of Stone Limited, and by our successful entrepreneurs. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Dalvi Palagi, CEO of Pennywise Cosmetics Limited, Mr. Dorian Nichols, Managing Director of Europa, Trinidad and Tobago, and President of a ASI, the Junior Manon, Executive Director, College of Health, Environmental and Safety Studies. Once again, I would like to welcome you all with these quotes. According to James Custer, for the only way in which a durable peace can be created is by worldwide restoration of economic activity and international trade. In the words of Steve Jobs, getting fired by the, from Apple was the best thing that could ever happen to me. The heaviness of being successful was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. I wish you all a productive and life-transforming experience. Thank you.